Okay, as we set up today's video, I've almost just stacked it and sent the TV flying, but we're off to a great start. So today, guys, the video and today's video is all about becoming a dad, and I thought no better person to do this video with than with Bob's. So say hello to the guys. Hi, guys. Anything you want to add before we start? I'm mum. And I'm going to be dad. <laughs> okay, so the first thing um, we want to talk about is basically becoming a dad, all of the things around that, how we've navigated that so far, obviously becoming a mum. And I wanted to make a video about this because I know there's going to be tons of um, people that have either gone through this already or people that are going to go through this in the future. Um, and I just want to talk about some of the things we've been going through so far. So first thing I want to talk about, are we excited or nervous? Do you want to go first, Bubs? You can go first. I'm probably 50-50. So there's part of me, this is going to be quite a good therapy session to be there, <laughs> that is really, really excited. Um, and then the other part of me is nervous, anxious for all of the unknown. So that's kind of where I'm sat. But part, but I'm very, also very confident because I know that you're going to be great um, in allowing them to help me navigate the challenges that are coming. So, and we've got a massive support network and system around us. So, and moving here has been great because we're now, we've got much more space versus before in the apartment. We had a lovely space, but um, not enough space to bring up a little rascal. So now we've got more space and we've also got obviously people nearby who can help and stuff. So do you want to share how you feel about this one? Yeah, so I would say I'm mostly excited. I get the nerves creeping here and there, but I'm just approaching this whole thing with confidence and excitement because I just, we've done so much personal development over the years and I feel like that's prepared me for this so well because I think if I go into it feeling nervous and worried and, oh, about giving birth or about becoming a mum, all this sort of stuff, then I'm just not really setting myself up for success. So my ethos is, I get a little wobble now and then where reality hits and I'm like, oh, everything's about to change. And we're very routine people. And I feel like we're very, we've got the way we live and stuff. And it's, we know that it's about to be flipped upside down. Um, and we, we're not going to know. We can't really plan because we're not going to know what it's going to be like until he's here. So I would say I'm 99.9% .9 excited and confident and 0.01% nervous. Okay, so I've maybe got more than that in, in nerves. No problem. <laughs> so one thing we do do well as a couple, I would say, is we communicate really regularly. We go on tons of walks. And that's one of the beauties of us both working together um, is we go for walks um, after dinner every single day. Sometimes we go for multiple walks a day and we'll, we'll talk about stuff. Normally, it's actually been about business and our goals and has been since we got together really. Um, but now we've got a new topic of discussion, which has been amazing. Um, and one thing that we have been speaking about a lot is showing up as our best selves because now we've got someone who's watching what we do every day. Now, ideally it, with parenting or with leadership and what we do with our work and stuff, we would like every, our baby to do and child to do as we say, but we know the reality is they're going to do what we do. So for us now, this is something that we chat about all the time is how do we make sure that we show up as our best selves? We're not going to be perfect. We know that. Um, and we don't want to try and be that for, for anyone, but we want to be our best that we can. And do you want to add anything on to that? Yeah, I just think it, it adds a whole new level of meaning to the goals that we have set. It's made certain things really more important to us, but I feel like it's also made other things less important like it puts a lot of stuff into perspective because ultimately we understand that when he's here he is our main priority and I say he's our main priority I'm very much of the belief and people may come at me for this one but I very much believe that you have to have a strong foundation of a relationship in place we both come from divorced parents and I think that keeping as much as possible our relationship as priority Jim Rohn says it if the parents are okay the kids are okay so I think that a big thing for me is maintaining our foundation as we mold into these new roles first 
with the family then able to grow on top of it because it, it supports it so for me it's added a whole new level of meaning when I'm doing my personal development it, I'm like not just reading a book for reading a book's sake or for business or whatever I'm like I need to be the example of possibility of the highest level of standards of being a human being like all of these areas that I want to be an example of to my son perfect example the other morning I woke up and I had plans to go for a run I really didn't want to go for a run and running is quite hard for me at the moment but I also thought if he was watching me right now what would I want him to see would I want him to see me go oh it's okay I'll just do it tomorrow and make excuses or would I want him to see me getting up and showing up for myself anyway so I think in that way um it's just given me a big kick up the bum and just added added more meaning to everything that we do mm -hmm. well, i always like to say one of my favorite quotes i've ever seen before is when the the why is strong enough the how becomes easy and the why is just stepped into a whole different gear really since we've known we're gonna be mum and dad Mental. It's, <laughs> yeah it's crazy but it's made our goals so, mean so much more um, and it's created urgency for us in the decisions and the moves that we make over the next month, two months, 90 days. And then obviously moving forward, uh, we've got more to think about than just what we're doing. We've now got the life of someone who's counting on, on us and the moves that we make and how we show up and our standards. So it's made things, yeah, more interesting. But I'm, I'm excited about that, yes. having that responsibility. <clears throat> And the last thing I've got here is seeing things through a different lens, which we kind of just been speaking about, really, haven't we? Yeah, but I think it's seeing lots of stuff through a different lens and also thinking about, like, our own upbringings and what did we love about it and what would we have liked to be a little bit different and what's ended up causing... I know one of the points you, you spoke about and we've spoken about a lot is like subconscious beliefs and blocks and a lot of this stuff where we've worked on this through personal growth through personal development a lot of it stems from experiences in childhood because when you're a child your your brain isn't fully developed and you take things at face value as an adult if someone says something to you you can decipher is that person in a bad mood have they got a lot of stress like and you can understand things a bit better you're more emotionally intelligent um but when you're a child you take everything at face value so if someone says something to you or you have an experience you take it for exactly what it is um and there was a few things for me personally as a child like around finances and worthiness of money and all of these sorts of things that I've been working on for a long time um but like you said it's it's that urgency of I don't want to pass this on to the next generation of my family. So I need to work on that myself and be aware of that. And like you say, we're going to mess up. <laughs> we're going to have moments where we're sleep deprived or whatever's happened and, and we may mess up or say something. Or, But what I think that we understand is that in those moments, we will be able to identify that and be able to explain ourselves and hopefully <laughs> do a little bit less damage. Um, than than we had done to us or other people might have had done to them in their childhood that sort of thing so we just want to do our very best to create a positive mindset and growth environment and stuff for him and and teach him things that we've learned later in life that we're like damn I wish I knew that 10 years ago or I wish I knew that when I was a kid and could have done more with it or had that mindset as when I was growing up and just yeah just create a little legend basically I think it all comes down to starting with the end in mind and living intentionally based on that. We, we know the outcomes that we want to create and it's just about living intentionally daily to create the results that we're looking for. So it's no different really, I guess, with how, it, how you approach anything. So I've got a question for you. Go on, Bobs. So if you could choose one quality or characteristic from each of us, that he we didn't prep this i know that's why it's a good question that he would embody what would you pick one characteristic yeah or quality one from me and one from you like if you could choose those for him what would you choose okay probably my competitiveness yeah i would probably like that. wish me luck <laughs> 
and then from you, your caring nature. Because I think if you combine those two things, you're going to create. That's why we make a good team. There we go. Let's, let's see. <laughs> you can, stay tuned. We're going to have updates and this this could be mayhem this could be chaos <laughs> this could become couples counseling yeah this could we might need help <laughs> <laughs> and this video has not been made like we're experts or anything we're just trying to be as authentic as we can in this journey that we're going on and um please do share any help that you can for us because we're open to everything um if let us know positive. in the comments keep it positive as you can but that is one thing that we have noticed is oh. a lot of people have got a lot of negative things to say about how we need to prepare ourselves for the and we understand but we not um, helpful yeah we, we, <laughs> thanks, we no thanks. try and try the amount of people that said to me i'm not going to be sleeping for the next six years or whatever fills me with confidence but um we're going to get around it i i've always thought i'm a great sleeper so why you wouldn't i sleeper. duplicate a great sleeper I mean, I hope that you do duplicate a great sleeper, but I'm a terrible sleeper. And at the moment, I can't have night mode and I cannot wait to have that back because that really helps me sleep. So We'll, we'll get him dosed up on night mode. <laughs> Maybe not him, but... <laughs> okay, I think that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and check us out in the next video and wish us luck. Bye!